Hello to everyone. In this footage, I am going to introduce you the real Iranian gangsters who remain anonymous not only for foreigners, but also for most Iranians themselves. So let's watch this short video. A gangster is a criminal who is a member of a gang. Most gangs are considered to be part of organized crime. In reality, the words gang and gangster are engaged with concepts such as organized crime, drug and human trafficking, money laundering, murder, violence, prison, and terrorist related activities. The power of gangsters is gained from their group, what we call it the gang. The gangsters were born to be leaders. They have ability to pursue the other people to join them and organize a gang and after that to achieve money. Some of them are very famous. Of course, I think perhaps the word notorious is more accurate. People like Al Capone, Pablo Escobar, John Dellinger, Ellsworth Johnson, Jesse James, Joaquin Guzman, who is known as El Chapo. He is in jail in the US now. The world of gangsters was an amazing object for gangs movies and I think everyone has watched the triple of Godfather movies. In this video, I'm going to introduce you Iranian famous gangsters. First of all, you should be aware of the security dilemma in Iran. Iran is a very severe security oriented country and security considerations cast a shadow over almost any other area. If Iran was ruled as Mexico, we could observe the emergence of gangs which are even more dangerous than Mexican gangs. Before going further, it's important to notice the differences among gangsters and other terms that mostly use in this area, the terms such as hooligans or hoodlum. While a hooligan or hoodlum does not necessarily form a group, a gangster surely has or belongs to a group. He can manage the group and has leadership abilities. In Iran, there are some famous hooligans, but they have no gang or group. For example, Hossein Dalirani, Wafa Khairullah Zadeh, Samad Karimi, or Said Samurai. Gangsters have access to huge financial resources and often they achieve money by illegal activities. A gangster is a charismatic figure and he or she can have a great influence on his or her group members. Gangster is clever and can manage the others. Naturally, the gangster is a powerful figure. It's time for us to start. First, I introduce you the old Iranian gangsters, the people who were already dead or now they are not in Iran. After that, we focus on the gangsters who have three specifications. They are alive, they attend in Iran, and now they are active. So let's start. Asghar Nasiri Asghar Nasiri also known as Asghar Khareji. Khareji in Persian means foreigner. He was boss of Afi gang. In Persian, Afi means Viper, a kind of dangerous snake. The Viper gang was one of the greatest and scariest gangs in Iran. Asghar Nasiri could gather many hooligans in his group and he was brilliantly able to manage and lead them all. Finally, he was murdered in prison by taking wrong pills and drugs. It was said that he committed suicide, but it was a lie. Mahmoud Khodai. He became chief of one of the scariest and most dangerous Yakuza gangs in Japan. All the other Yakuza gangs scared him very much. After he was released from jail, he gave up being a gangster and now he lives in Tehran. Muhammad Kanuni, he has organized the greatest gang in the history of Thailand. The other Thai gangs extremely were frightened by his gang. He was murdered in a street fight in Thailand. Omid Tahvili, he was born in Tehran or Kermanshah and he is involved in organized crime out of Iran. 
he was boss of a gang that involved in drug trafficking and fraud. He was persecuted by FBI and Interpol and once he could escape from prison in Canada. In April 2008, he was ranked as top 10 internationally persecuted people. The number one of this list was Osama bin Laden. Now it's time to watch the main part of this video. In this part, we have a look to Iranian alive and active gangsters who are in Iran. Because of security issues, gang and gangster related activities in Iran is harder and complicated than the other parts of the world, such as Mexico. The Iranian officials themselves involved in organized crime and they tolerate no rival. Iran is a very high security country and this suggests the hardness of gangs related activities in the country. Number 1. Musa Maliki He is well known as Empire of Iran. He is originally from Ilam, somewhere near Iraqi borders, but he was born in Tehran and he has spent his youth in Tehran. He was sent to child jail when he was a child. He is a professional in fight with cold weapon and he had fought with a group of hooligans and he defeated them. He is capable of fighting against several knife armed men. His zeal for his group and city is unique. He has spent long time in jail in Karaj and he has participated in many fights and he won all. For this he became so popular and most of the prisoners wished to serve him. In the jail because of his cleverness and charisma most of the prisoners were attracted to him and they were ready to devote themselves to Musa Maliki. Later when Musa released from prison those people joined his gang. Today no gang, gangster or hooligan can defeat him. Number 2. Puya Paravi He is originally from Kermanshah but he was born in Tehran. His title is Kabir that in Persian means the great. When he was young he has participated in many street fights and victory in the battle brought him fame and popularity. He is extremely zealous in defending his group members and his fellow citizens. He has participated in many street fights to, to defend fellow citizens and this makes him very popular especially among youngsters. He is very clever and charismatic and his followers find him an independent person with valuable humanitarian characteristics. He has spent a while in prison. After that he has started to help the poor and involved in public benefit activities. This again attracted more people towards him. The number of his gang's member is more than the other and they attend in different parts of Iran. Hani Khumanadar, known as Hani Kurde, he is not a Kurd as he has spent his childhood in Kurdish parts of Tehran with Kurds. He was well known as Hani Kurde. He was put in jail when he was a child because of combat and street fight. When he was younger, he defeated all the other hooligans except Musa Maliki in Tehran. He is brave and fearless and sometimes he attacked a group of hooligans by himself and he prevailed. He has spent more than 14 years in jail. He was also a charismatic figure and many hooligans joined him in prison. When Hani released from jail, those people and hooligans joined him and he founded one of the biggest and strongest gangs in Iran. In 2019, he was attacked and was stabbed to death. He was stabbed more than 20 times and everyone thought he was dead, but he survived. The assault to Hani recalled the famous scene of Godfather movie where, where Don Corleone was shot five times but he survived. Hani involved in public benefit activities. When something wrong happened between Hani and one of the Turkish mafia, Hani easily defeated him and he showed that no mafia in the Middle East can easily defeat him. He is considered as a clever and cunning and these two characteristics make him more popular among his gang's member. Number 4. Darius Behui. He lives in Tehran. Also, he is anonymous in comparison to the other Iranian gangsters, but undoubtedly 
he and his gang are significantly important. With the help of his rich family, he was able to gather many hooligans in his gang. No one in Iran wants to start a war with his gang. One of his main group members is Farzad Piyasvand and he is now in prison in Turkey. Darius gang is active in Iran and Turkey. He is a polite and stylish man. His father also was one of the Iranian luti known as Mahmoud Behui.